construction of slip ring or face wound motor. In this video, we are going to see about the construction of three phase slip ring induction motor. We are seeing dismantling view of three phase slip ring induction motor. The parts of the three phase slip ring induction motor fan cover, fan, external non drive end bearing cap, non drive end shield, non drive end bearing cap, internal non drive end bearing cap, frame or yoke. Terminal box, terminal box adapter device, eye bolt, wound stator, slip ring, slip ring rotor, shaft, key, internal drive end bearing cap, drive end bearing, drain, external drive end bearing cap, seal. A wound rotor has a laminated core with slots on its outer surface. Rotor consists of three phase winding similar to the stator winding. The three ends of the rotor windings are connected to the slip rings mounted on the motor shaft. External resistance can be added in the rotor circuit, hence, High starting torque can be achieved. The function of bearings is to reduce friction between the rotating and stationary parts of the machine. The shaft is used to transfer mechanical power from or to the machine. The front end cover supports the bearings and brush assemblies. On a piece of electric equipment, a box within which the leads from the piece of equipment are connected to the leads supplying the equipment with power, usually provided with a removable cover plate for access. The stator is the outer stationary part of the motor. Yoke or frame serves as outer protective cover for the machines and supports for fixing the machine. The eye bolt is provided with the body generally on the top for lifting the machine. A cooling fan is used to remove the heat liberated by motor. Rear end cover are usually for supports the bearing only. The heat dissipated by the motor is reduced by using the ventilator. Now, we are seeing assembling of three-phase slip ring induction motor. 